Hi Collective, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time, if this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, this is um, a general energy check. Let's see what's going on. It is, it's Wednesday, October 23rd. So my birthday's on Sunday, you guys. <laughs> my birthday's on Sunday. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited about it. Very excited about it. I've been celebrating my birthday from the beginning of the month. You feel me? <laughs> That's what's going on here. Mm -hmm. As you get older, you start realizing that every day has to count. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I digress. So how's everybody doing? Thank you so much for checking out the vid. If you are interested in a personal reading or you want to come in and creep the Patreon on the woke community on the Patreon platform, feel free to do that. The links are in the description box. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Light Group Life. Uh, I'm also on the Beagle platform now too as Divine 1010, okay? AKA Divine Feminine. I'm feminine, baby. Okay? Anyways. Let's get into this reading. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. I am a clear, open, open and receptive channel for the highest vibrational messages. What messages do you have for the collective that is for their highest good? Who is this reading for? So let me know if this resonates with you. If it doesn't, that's cool. Take what resonates. Discard the rest. Don't try to force it. It will confuse your ass. Okay, nobody wants that. So let's see what messages Spirit has for you that's for your highest good. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so someone could be going through some car issues. Someone that's watching you. This person's car could have got repoed. Or they have issues with their vehicle, so it's always breaking down. Or this person has no vehicle now at all. Okay, someone may not be able to afford a vehicle. Or afford the payments on it this person is watching you they are such a creep this is someone who's a creep like oh my god really not cool yeah <laughs> this person wants to play some kind of game with you here mm -hmm. they feel like if they come back around and kiss your ass you're going to let them in but this person wants to put you in some kind of um entanglement <laughs> okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're trying to do here. But I don't think that's going to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are ignoring this part. Like I said, it's not going to work. You are ignoring this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're crying over you because of it. For some of you, this person puts you in a third party situation. Okay, they put you, like I said, they put you in an entanglement. And you were like, no, I don't think so. Now, because you're not paying any attention to them, they want to be crying. Someone is upset. They're in their feelings, yes. But this person, they are a happiness hater. This is someone who doesn't want to see you happy with anybody else, right? It's like, be, be with me and be miserable, right? I'd rather you be with me and be miserable than be single and happy or be with somebody else, right? This is a mess. They're a mess, okay? And it's always the same shit, different day. For some of you, you were dealing with someone you knew, you know that they're a happiness hater. This is someone who's always raining on your parade. They're the Debbie Downer. There's always a dark cloud around them and everything else that they go around. This is the energy of someone when you, you're you having a good time and as soon as this person enters the room, the energy just gets tense, right? People start fiddling with their phones and wanting to leave the room. And, and it's because this energy, this person's energy is so dense. Yeah. They don't like seeing other people doing well or feeling even feeling good, right? Yeah. A real misery loves company type of person. And they always been like that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this person, I don't know, are they having a, a crisis of conscience? Because someone wants to come back to you. This person was running away from you at one point in time. They ran from you. Okay. They ran from you to, into the arms of somebody else. Or um, for some of you, I'm hearing Polly. Right. So, okay, whatever. But, um, Someone ran away from you, went to see someone else, or went to be with someone else. And now they don't want to do that anymore. Now they're missing you, which is just weird. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, it's not weird. <laughs> no, it's not weird. This is why. Because you the shit. That's why. Okay. Someone is realizing that they fully traded in a diamond for a rock. Mm -hmm. And now they want to come back. Someone thought the grass was greener on the other side, or they fell, they fell for fool's gold, or they fell for a trophy spray painted in gold. Not the real thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You bruised this person's ego, though. That's why. Right? I feel like the fact that you are ignoring someone and you give zero fucks about what's going on with them and who they're doing it with is bothering them. Mm-hmm. Someone likes to have multiple options. They like people fawning all over them, people trying to chase them and be with them. Yeah. You want to know why <laughs> you bruise this person's ego? Because you, this person now feels like you look at them like you dodged a bullet. Like if you think I don't fucking know that I got away from the devil, all right? That's fine. Whoever you want to be with, that is fine. More power to you. May the force be with you. And to the person that you went to, only God can save you. Mm-hmm. Because they're, they're looking like you're looking at them like they have cooties. That's what they feel like. Yeah. Like social distancing. No, I don't want anything to do with you. That's fine. I don't care who you're with. That's fine. Go have fun. Go be great. But you are, someone feels like they're very negative in your life or you view them like they're crazy or you know that they're a hater and you're just not here for, you're not entertaining it. You could have told someone, right? That you know that you dodged a bullet with them and it is bothering them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You kind of bruise someone's fragile ego there, collective. But you know what? <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Toughen up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. This person also feels like you have good karma. Yeah, you have good karma. They feel like they're wasting time. So what I'm getting here is someone went to someone else feeling like the grass was green around the other side. Or they traded up in some way, not realizing that they never, they had a diamond in the rough the whole time. Mm -hmm. So this person could have ran off and made it seem like you ain't shit, you ain't never going to be shit, right? They've upgraded. And then when they got with this person, you just, you, your glow up was just madness. <laughs> it was like, yeah. Yeah, Ninja, I was just waiting for you to get out of my energy so I can flourish, okay, and rise like the phoenix that I am. I was just waiting for your ass to, to leave so I can really move the way I want to move. This is, someone sees that you're glow up or sees that you've had some kind of glow up after they're gone or after they left and they feel like, they feel stupid now, yeah? This person looks at you like you're someone who has good karma and you seem to be protecting your time, right? Spirit, can I get one on wasting time? What's wasting time? You value your time. Spirit, please clarify. You just make someone feel silly. You make them feel like a fool. You make them feel like a loser, like an idiot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yes, I told you, you're protecting your time. You're protecting your time from someone who's careless and reckless and doesn't know what the hell they're doing. This is someone who was quick to move on to somebody else, okay, or have third parties. They didn't even think twice about maybe I shouldn't do this to the collective because they're going to get rid of me. They never thought for a second. Someone has an energy of it's my way or the highway. I'm always right, okay? They are a follower, there, though. They don't know what they're doing. Spirit, can I get one more? This person is a professional time waster. Mm -hmm. And you know that. Yeah, that's why you moved on from them. <laughs> you just packed up all your cups, all of your feelings that you had for them. You just packed them back up and you went about your business because you're like, you know what? You're not even on my level anyway, all right? I was giving you a chance. You don't get it anymore. Spirit, please clarify. And you may not have been so quiet about this, right? You could have told someone, honestly, you're not for me. Oh, you met someone else. That's great. Have a good time. You know, all the best to you. And they're like, what? You're not jealous? You're not upset? You're not trying to creep my, my social media and see what I'm doing or try to find out who I'm talking to and go message them? You really don't care. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Right in this energy, no. <laughs> it's like you're beneath me, you peasant. 
That's what your energy says. You're a peasant. You've always been a peasant. <laughs> wow. Like, you're so lucky that I gave you a chance. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Spirit, please clarify. Move in silence. Mm -hmm. Something that you did or said to this person was a whole tower moment for them. <laughs> this was the bruising of their ego, okay? Some of you, whatever you said or did to someone made them realize that they're not as hot as they think they are, right? They're not as popular. They're not as good looking as they think they are, okay? And nobody wants them as much as they think they do. Yeah. I feel, you feel like you burst someone's bubble here. <laughs> Someone was a whole bubble head and you popped it. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Can I get one more? Collect. Yeah, they are in their feelings here. And some of you, too, another reason why this person is so upset and they feel away is because you just took your cup back. You weren't like... You didn't have no meltdown or even if you did and you were upset at the time, it didn't last long. No, it didn't. You just gathered yourself up and was like, you know what? I don't even, I don't even want this. Like I deserve so much better. You're queen rising. You're like, I deserve so much better than you anyway. Like, why do I want to fight for someone and go chase someone who's choosing other people? Why am I chasing people? That means they're running from me. I don't want to be with someone who's going to put me in some entanglement. It's either like I'm I'm the, the emperor or the empress here. Like I'm the king or the queen here. I am the only option. You don't have options around me or outside of me or with me. No, 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 no. I am the only option. And if you don't see that, then you lose out. You know that you're the prize. You know what you bring to the table. And someone is just like, they feel like a whole fool. Yeah, this was a tower moment for someone because they see that you really don't care. You are emotionally unavailable to somebody. Yeah. And they're like, whoa. Spirit, can I get some more? And on top of that, you're ignoring them. I told you, you make someone feel like a loser. <laughs> I don't. They're not as hot as they thought they were. They're not as popular as they thought they were. Someone is actually realizing that the only reason why they got attention or other people wanted them was because they were attached to you in some way, right? Someone is realizing, okay, that all the benefits and accolades come with you, not away from you, not outside of you. It's with you. Mm -hmm. People only wanted them because they were with you. You made someone look more attractive. You made someone appear to be more popular. Mm -hmm. You made someone see, feel like they were shining, right? Like a diamond, right? You made them feel like they were a diamond, but they weren't. It's just you because you are the diamond, right? So anything around you is going to, your, your, your shine is going to reflect off of them, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to make them feel bright. But this person, they feel like an idiot. And you were right. The whole time you were right, you were looking at someone like you're not even on my fucking level here. Look at this queen rising and boss daddy in reverse. They're not even on your level. <laughs> this person doesn't, they're not stable. They don't have anything going for them, right? They, they're not on no business because they don't have any business. They just like attention. This is somebody who just wanted you to pour into them and make them feel special. And once they did that, once you did that and they started feeling really good, they start looking around. Now, now all of a sudden you're not good enough for them. Hmm. Someone got a reality check here, okay? Whole reality check. With this tower moment, oh my God. It's like their whole persona of who they saw themselves to be just crumbled. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. You, you really don't think I'm good? It's only because I was with the collective why you thought I was good looking? It's only because the collective wanted me why you were interested in me? All right? You want, I was only getting respect because I was with the collective? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, sis. Okay. That's why you appreciate people when you have them. Someone feels like an idiot. Wow. <laughs> I told you. Right? Because you rejected them. Mm -hmm. They feel absolutely rejected. Someone feels like you view them like they're COVID. <laughs> right? Like social, dis social distancing. Yeah. Like, no, I don't want you. Mm -hmm. They feel like something's not fair. For some of you too, if you have a child or children with this person and they want to take you to court for something, it's just to get your attention, okay? And because they feel slighted, that's why. But it's not going to go in their favor anyway. Mm -hmm. It's not going to go in their favor. Justice is going to go in your favor. 
Mm -hmm. Because this person is no longer allowed to give you any type of dirty offers. And what I mean by that is you're not accepting any type of offers from them. Good, bad, ugly, pretty, in between. You're not accepting anything. You've rejected them. Absolutely rejected somebody, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. I don't care who you do it with. Just stay away from me. Okay, of course they're going to feel like shit. Yeah, I'm not taking any offers from you. Good vibes only around here. And you don't know what that means. Wow. Yeah, for some of you, this person may be trying to take you to court for um, over custody or support or something. Or they're trying to tell, tell a, a court, right? The justice system that you're a negligent parent or could always be trying to nitpick at everything that you do. But it's because they know that without you, they're a loser, but they're not even going to find anything, right? So all these false accusations, they're going to come up empty. There's nothing, there's no weight to anything that they're saying. They are going to be viewed as like a, a the, the court of law I'm hearing. The court of law, justice system is going to look at this person like, you're just upset because they don't want you anymore, right? You don't get to, it's not against the law to not like somebody anymore and have feelings for them anymore. You can't come to court every time because you feel away, because you're in your feelings. Yeah, look, this person's broke. They are very upset about that. Oh, and they're looking at you like it's not fair because they're broke and you're too busy winning, right? This is also another reason why their ego is severely bruised here because you seem to be absolutely unbothered, unfazed, okay, living your best life and you've decided to go be great and that's exactly what you are. You're great, okay? Living in your greatness. So they're comparing themselves to you and they feel stupid. They feel like a loser. They feel like they lost. They feel like they've been dethroned, disgraced, okay? And they feel like it's not fair. They feel like after the breakup or separation, you you just elevated and they have descended, right? Yeah. This person feels like you're on your grind. You're on your about your money, okay? Things are working out for you. You seem to be focusing because you are queen rising. You're focused on what's going to actually bring something valuable into your life. Add value. Yes, you, I can't make this up. You're too busy winning. Someone knows and they see it for themselves 100% that you were the prize then and you are still the prize now. Okay? You just made someone feel too nice. Mm-hmm. They, they felt too nice. They got ahead of themselves. What did they say? They got too big for their britches. <laughs> yeah. And that it was your energy. It's how you love someone. It's how you made them feel. All right? Hmm. Yes. They can't even watch you. If this person was trying to cyber bully you or something, did you block them? You block them on everything. They can't get to you. They also know that there's nothing they say or nothing they do. They can't cause any type of drama to phase you. You completely rejected this person. Okay? On all fronts. Yeah, because you're too busy winning. Some of you, you stacking, okay? You're building an empire here and you are stacking your money. Yes, you are. Okay, you're focused on your stability and your security and your comfort, I'm hearing, and your luxury. You don't care about what this person's doing mm -hmm. because you're being your authentic self. A lot of you too, you've seen someone, right? You've seen everything that you needed to see with them and you don't need to see anything else. You know that someone was a wolf in sheep's clothing and their ass got caught, right? And then they got dismissed because of it. So, hmm. Someone is losing though because of because of the, the way how they think and because of what they did to you, they're losing a lot. Things are not, they have been judged, not just by you, but by spirits, right? Because it's like when you meet someone with your kind of energy collective where you just love people and you want to empower them and elevate them and just be there for them and support them. When you see someone like that and your first thought is to take advantage of them, take them for granted, use them, you don't get good karma for stuff like that, okay? Because if you think someone with your energy is not being um, highly protected or you're not highly blessed and favored, that's a mistake on their part, okay? And they are going to recognize just how mistaken they were, okay? They're going to realize that because someone is seeing that now, that they were with the whole emperor or empress and they were acting like you ain't shit. All right. And it's because they couldn't see it. They say real, recognize real and energy, recognize energy. This person wasn't going to see that in you because they're not like that. Right. A queen recognizes another queen. A king recognizes another king. 
This person, they ain't on shit. They only notice people who ain't on shit just like them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. 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 Spirit, can I get some guidance and advice? Can I get some guidance and advice for the collective in closing? Oh, I just wanted to see something. What is, um, what is, what is dirty offer in reverse, Spirit? What's dirty offer in reverse? What's dirty offer in reverse? I clear the energies of the previous reading from this deck. Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. This is you exploring your option. Someone thinks that it's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> they think that it's not fair that you have so many options. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you are exploring your options. This person is also super salty that you could be dating out here, having the time of your life. People want to wine and dine you. Yeah. They upset about that. They think it's not fair. Like I said, <laughs> someone thought that they were hotter than they really were, or they looked better than they really did, or they had it like that when they really didn't, okay? It was all because of you. It was your energy. And once you removed your energy, okay, now their, their new reality has hit them, okay? And it's sad. It's sad, sad. Hmm. Collective, this is what I have for you. Oh, wait a minute. We we're going to do, um, I just want to pull one card. Spirit, what guidance and advice do you have for the collective? What guidance and advice? Someone is also upset, this person. They're upset because they can't play with you anymore. They can't just come back, I'm sorry, and, you know, try to kiss your ass. You're not hearing nothing. You don't care. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, glow. Wow. Wow. Okay. 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 So spirit is saying with, you got glow in reverse. You got passion in reverse. Oh, I can't show this because, you know, I don't know how YouTube feels about backs, but whatever. <laughs> and you got the huntress. You got the huntress. So this is spirit basically telling you, don't you ever, 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 ever again, let anybody dim your light. Or make you feel like you are not who you know yourself to be. The emperor or the empress. Okay, some of you I'm hearing high priest, high priestess. Okay, don't you ever, ever, ever let anyone make you dim your light. Okay, or feel like you need to make yourself small so someone feels big. Okay, or dim your light so someone feels bright. Or dumb yourself down so someone feels smart. Okay, don't you dare. This is also spirit saying, don't you ever settle, okay? Whoever you're with, you should feel passionate about. You should have high chemistry. This is not a, oh, they're not all that, but I'll, I'll grow to love them. You know, spirit's like, no, it's, you feel like that from the beginning. <laughs> okay, don't you ever, you are emperor, empress energy. You want to know why you get what you want? Because you don't settle. Mm -hmm. So don't you ever, ever, ever do that again. Okay. Keep your eye on the prize, which is you. You are here to be wild and free and untamed and stand in your un authenticity. I was going to say, be unapologetically authentic. Okay. That's what spirit said. You don't apologize for who you are and how you show up. Either someone can handle it. They recognize it and can handle it and deal with you accordingly, or they don't. And their ass gets dismissed point blank period. Okay. Collective. This is what I have for you. Let me know if any of this resonates. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.